Hello there beautiful humans, how are you this morning? Let's just breathe today, take it in and remember our soul's magnificence. So I want you to take your space, remember with wholehearted energy that you deserve to be on the planet. Every person who's alive and thriving and well deserves to be here. We deserve this space. We deserve to consciously celebrate our time on the planet, our space on the planet, family, friends and loved ones. So let's just, uh, let's just run that central meridian. And just breathing. Have you ever thought about what your soul agreement is? What if you agreed to be coming to this place and time on the planet? Hands over the heart, just allow yourself to breathe. Allow that connection. Allow your consciousness to come to the frontal cortex. Breathing in time and space. Breathing with love in our hearts. Allowing it to be the year of transcendence. Okay. Run that central meridian. Anti-clockwise over the heart. Hand on the forehead, hand at the rear of the skull, allowing that connection from conscious to unconscious. Feel that zipping of energy from the front to the rear of the brain. Allowing that energy to move, increasing the energy in that map of consciousness in the frontal cortex of our brain, where we th think, where we feel, where we bring forward information for us to digest, allowing us to think, come to our conclusions, find solutions. Okay. Sometimes the energy is just too dense, it's too thick, it's too wearisome hearing it and then we can feel sad, depressed, you know that frontal cortex just loses its courage, it loses its dynamic energy, so wakey wakey wake up that frontal cortex. Mm, yeah, and then we're more likely to want to run away, get into escape, submission, freeze when we're not getting that dopamine, serotonin, feel-good energy from the frontal cortex. Just allow that energy to increase in the frontal cortex. Aim to stay planted and grounded in the here and now. So we feel renewed, energised, enlivened. Okay, so something specifically is going on in here. Sadness, despondency, depression. So it's not any of those. Okay, so is it appreciation? Okay, so lack of appreciation, uh, feeling to appreciate, lack of appreciation. So in those parts of our lives where we don't feel appreciated, where we don't feel like we are getting back what we are putting into something, we, we're feeling like we're putting our two steps forward, but we're always, you know, falling backwards. We're not getting ahead. We're not feeling that appreciation, either self-appreciation or from other people. It can be either. So I am appreciated. I am loved. I am appreciated. I choose to feel appreciated. I am appreciated. I choose to feel appreciated into the future. 
I choose to keep in contact with my tribe who appreciates me. Okay, so there's some anger there when that appreciation doesn't come easily. So when we're feeling like we're doing too much, but not feeling that energy back. And that's when we just need to choose what energy we put out there in the world. There's no point being out there doing things for people all over the place when you're not feeling appreciated and it makes us angry. So where are we putting our energy? What are we getting back? Who are we choosing to have as part of our tribe? Who do we need to let go in our tribe? Okay. Okay. Next little area is the hippocampus and it's fear of failure and fear of success. So, okay, so in the clear it's okay. Okay, so fear of failure. And you can imagine if you're not feeling appreciated a lot of the time, how are you going to feel like you're doing a good job? How are you going to feel like you're successful? And once again, then that fear of failure links back into that low serotonin, low dopamine, low feel good hormone energy. So fear of failure linked into old pain and punishment circuits. I choose to allow myself to move forward feeling successful. I choose to move forward with love in my heart. I choose to move forward putting myself first so that I can be the best person I can possibly be. Okay, fear of failure, fear of success. Right, but then there's also the fear of success going on in there. So what happens when we're successful? Do you feel like someone tries to bring us down a peg or two? That whole tall poppy syndrome. So let's uh, look at fear of success. Hmm. Yeah, fear, threat, danger. Okay, so what's unsafe about being successful? Is it more fear of loss? You know, is it if we're successful with our friends and peers, if we're successful with money, if we're successful with uh, worldly goods, what is it that holds us back here? We need to have that drama of life being as fun and energizing and activated as we possibly can. We want to feel being here on the planet. We want to feel all of the emotions. We want to feel like we're here for a purpose. Okay. Uh, rage and anger. So once again, this is in relation to fear of success. Yeah, okay. So... And maybe that's also about every time we get close to success, something pulls us back down as well. That can be really frustrating. You can feel like you're getting close all the time. So holding. And breathe out that negative energy. Beautiful. Okay, is there another little circuit associated with the fear of success? Nope, we've got through there. But now, it's another little hippocampus circuit. Lack of motivation due to internal negativity. So our own thoughts are incredibly powerful. Our brain doesn't know the difference between what is real and what is imaginary. So when we are feeling negative, when we are seeing negative things happen on the planet, our brain can respond as if it's already happened. And 
this is the danger of little tiny children being uh, thrust into adult concepts to way too early because their little brains haven't caught up yet. If they see movies that are too, too challenging, if they see political stuff or TV stuff that's too challenging, they're not meant to grow up too quickly. Our brains haven't developed the difference between what's real and imaginary and it can really start a whole range of depression and anxiety and traumatic stress conditions. Okay, running that central meridian. <laughs> beautiful. Okay, my beautiful souls. Clockwise over the heart. Don't forget to check in with your soul occasionally. Work out what your intentions are, your agreements, your responsibilities are. Don't forget to find out where your talents, your unique gifts, those roles that you've played that may not may no longer be serving you. Allow yourself to live consciously and vibrantly and shine your light. Love you all. Take care. Mwah. Have a great day.